In this exercise, I'll show you the formulas for the remaining darkened modes, and we'll also see the lightened modes and how closely they're related. I'm still working inside that document, blendmodemath.psd. Notice down here the color burn formula. Now this becomes the first one of what I consider to be kind of the brain twisters. The one that's a little hard to figure out when you see it for the first time. Anytime, however, you see one minus like this, that means that you're inverting something. So in this case, we're inverting the background image. And I do truly mean inverting. We're inverting all the luminance levels. And then we're dividing that inverted background by the active layer, which would normally give us a very bright effect, which is why color burn then turns around and inverts the entire thing with this one minus up front. So as you can see here, we get invert, divide, and invert. Not surprisingly, because divide's involved, we have a caution icon that's telling us there's going to be some clipping. And color burn is one of those modes that almost always results in clipping inside Photoshop. Next, we have linear burn, which provides us with a simplified equation. We're still going to get clipping out of it, but we do get smoother results as well. So Photoshop starts by adding the pixels together, which would normally brighten the heck out of the image. Bear in mind that linear burn is a darkened mode, which is why we have a minus one at the end. Anytime you're subtracting one, you're not inverting. Instead, what you're doing is you're taking the wind out of the sails. So one is an awfully big number to subtract where a blend mode is concerned. Because after all, if you subtract one from what would normally be a composite white pixel, it's going to become black. So you might think looking at this equation, well, how is it that anything survives? Why doesn't the entire composite image become black? And the reason is that A plus B often results in numbers that are larger than one and the sum may be as large as two. So in any case, we add the luminous levels together and then we sync that sum in order to create a darker image. The next group of four modes here are the lighten modes, starting with lighten, which just finds the maximum luminance level where pixels A and B are concerned. So whichever pixel is lighter ends up winning on a pixel by pixel basis. Next drop down to screen. And notice, if you will, that every one of these lighten formulas actually includes the darken formula inside of it. So right there, we've got multiply at work inside of screen. So we've got A plus B. We go ahead and add those pixels together, which gives us a very bright image indeed. But to avoid any clipping, because screen never clips luminance levels inside of Photoshop, it goes ahead and subtracts the multiplied result. So what's really happening here, just to give you a sense, because this is a simplified equation, what's really happening here is Photoshop inverts the background, then it inverts the active layer, it multiplies them together, and then it turns around and inverts the result. And so what that means is green is absolutely the inverse of multiply. It is that awesome brightening mode that always delivers smooth results and never clips luminance levels. Next, we have color dodge. And notice this time around, instead of inverting the background image, Photoshop goes ahead and inverts the active layer, and then it divides the background by that inverted foreground. This time, however, because it does not invert the result the way that Color Burn did, we get a bright result, because you may recall from a couple of exercises ago, division always results in brightness inside of Photoshop. So we're taking the background, we're dividing it by an inverted version of the foreground layer, as a result, we get a very bright image, and of course, we get clipping. And then finally, one of the simplest equations of them all, linear dodge add, all Photoshop does is it adds the luminous levels across the board on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis. And because those values are frequently going to add up to more than one, we get clipping in some portions of the composition. So that's how the dark and enlightened modes work. And in the next exercise, we'll take a look at the more complicated contrast modes.